Alrighty guys, it is the Def King here back with another video and guys in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you about I'm actually not gonna be teaching you about scripting this today's video But I'm gonna be teaching you more about like how to learn scripting and a bunch of useful scripting resources that I use myself And that most Roblox developers use as well So yeah, these are pretty important stuff you need to know and in you know in most scripting tutorials and most scripting like series They wouldn't really teach you about the Roblox wiki and stuff like that, but I want to cover every Thing, okay not just the actual scripting itself but like you know learning how to script and meeting other developers and stuff like that too so um anyways let's go ahead and close out of studio because we won't need it right now and uh, let's go into web browser okay guys so right here as you can see here here is the Roblox wiki, or it's actually called the Roblox Developer Hub now. But basically what this is, is it's a, it's a wiki, right? It's where you can find out everything about Roblox and, you know, it's for developers especially because, you know, as you can see here, Developer Hub. <laughs> and basically it just teaches you about a few things such as, you know, like RDC, current news going on right now. Like as you can see here, Adopt Me actually hit 439,000 players at once which is insane okay think about that guys having 4,000 players on your game at one time that's crazy but any you know just more news here but um what we really want to go to right here is you can go as you can see here is quick start learn roblox api reference resources community um the api reference is basically what the wiki is basically this tells you everything you need to know about roblox scripting and it's like the object browser but a lot better it gives you little quick tutorials too and yeah let me show you what i mean okay so as you can see here it says the api reference manual documents all of the classes Classes, data types, enumerations, functions, events, blah, 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 blah. Okay, basically it's saying it tells you everything there is to know about Roblox scripting. It documents it all. So that way anyone who wants to learn from scratch and, you know, doesn't have any tutorials on YouTube to watch can learn from the wiki and the API reference itself. So this is probably, the, it's a pretty hard way to learn, I'm not going to lie, but it's very useful when it comes to reviewing stuff and kind of like picking up stuff where you left off and sometimes you forget. So yeah, I even use this sometimes before my tutorials just to make sure I have everything sharp. So uh, yeah, but as you can see here, there's a few frequently used classes that people come here for a lot. Um, look, let's click on the mouse, right? I just talked about the mouse last video, but basically, as you can see here, um, this is the page about the mouse. It tells you about it. It tells you it's an object. It tells you it can't be created with the instance new. It tells you how to get it. It tells you, you know, some properties of it. Actually, it tells you all the properties of it, and it tells you all the events for it, all the functions, which there aren't any. But you know, it's very useful because it tells you everything you need to know about that certain thing, about that certain class, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it's actually really, really useful. And um, I, I'm, you know, you guys probably won't use it right now. But in the future, when you forget stuff, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, what was the what was the code for, you know? the keyboard or you know for the mouse <laughs> you're gonna come here and you're going to look it up and you're gonna find it and even if you forget there's a quick tutorial too so it's very very useful so yeah I'll have this link in the description below maybe you want to bookmark it on your uh, web browser, browser which I do myself so um, yeah so that's the um, that's the Roblox API the second thing we have is the Roblox dev forum now the developer forum is made for developers only right and really pretty much anyone can be a developer on roblox right but the point is not anyone can just post on here it's not like the roblox forums i'm not sure if you guys are new to roblox but back in the old days on roblox there was forums and by the way rest in peace but basically in those forums anyone could post whatever they wanted to and here only developers can post now you're probably wondering well i'm a developer or maybe you consider yourself a developer right but you're wondering um you know how do you how do you actually consider yourself a developer so you can post? So what you have to do is actually, um, you can, there's a little article here, and basically how you join is you just need to read a lot of the dev forum stuff. So you have to come over here, find what you're interested in, you know, and uh, read about it, and then eventually you'll be able to get your new member rank and post. Now, what is the dev forum? So basically what it is, it's just, it tells you everything about development, and you know, you can post on here, like for example, if I had a problem, right, um, I was like, how to okay well i wouldn't post like really newbie stuff because you might actually get moderated because <laughs> this isn't for noob stuff but um I, you know if i had, like a, a a complex question i would definitely post it here or if i wanted to hire someone for my new game i could post it here as well or if i wanted to get hired i want i want to put my portfolio portfolio on here this is the place to do it and uh yeah as you can see here, there's a bunch of different categories so let's see the first one you know as you can see here uh what's coming in 2019 this is just a forum post from the roblox staff and they tell you about something that are coming in 2019 so that's pretty cool and then you can comment here or whatever and at first you won't be able to but you have to rank up and uh, get your role and stuff now if you want to learn more about you know how to rank up and how to actually join the developer forum um i'll leave some links to that in the description below 
but um, yeah, it's it's um, it tells you right here. So yeah, also be sure to log in with your account and uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it's pretty cool. I like the dev form. I, I don't really use it too much to be honest, but uh, I know a lot of people who do, and I actually do use it quite a bit because people actually ask questions that you probably have, and you'll end up looking them up and you'll find the dev form and the, the post to it. So yeah, it's pretty useful. And then the third resource I want to show you is the um, I'm sorry, is the Roblox Scripting Helpers website. Now, basically, the Scripting Helpers website .org is it's an unofficial Roblox website, and basically, it's made. I don't know who it's made by, to be honest, but basically, here you can ask questions, right? Let's let's say, um, how would I give a tool to a player? See, as you can see, someone asked that. Uh, GUI object not resizing. You know, so there's certain problems you can ask here, and uh, people will answer it for you. So it's, it's like a forum, but more unofficial and uh, more for noobs. I, I mean, I'm not gonna call you guys noobs, but <laughs> it's more like beginner forums. So yeah. So it's pretty useful. So anyways, um, <clears throat> that's what the scripting helpers thing is, and I'll leave the links in the description of that below as well. So yeah. And anyways, the fourth resource I want to show you is actually I have a Discord server. So basically, if you guys didn't know, I made a Roblox Discord server just for development. And what you can do here is actually post. I have a Roblox scripting help chat over here where you can ask questions. Maybe you have a question about something in the tutorial that you don't understand. You can come over here and ask it. People will help you. I'm in here most of the time myself, so I can help you too. So yeah, it's a good place to ask and good place to look. And also, if you go into general, people can talk about random stuff. See, as you can see here, people are just posting stuff and, you know, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So I definitely recommend joining this too. The link's in the description below. I know there's a lot of links in this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, this, is a, this is probably my favorite one, okay, because you can meet me specifically. And uh, I'm over here in the top right. So yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any more questions about anything, you know, be sure to ask. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy, and uh, like always, be sure to join the Discord server below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.